Hello everyone, I am Han Yu Zhao from Peking University. Today I'll be talking about HiD, a framework for multiple tenants to share a GPU cluster for deep learning with guarantees. This is a joint work with colleagues from the University of Hong Kong and Microsoft. Zhenhua Han and I contributed equally to this work. Today organizations are building large GPU clusters for training deep learning models. Such clusters are usually built with budgets or hardware contributed by multiple tenants and shared by these tenants. In a shared cluster, it is necessary to reserve resources for each tenant to provide guaranteed resource availability and user experiences. Otherwise, some tenants may lose access to resources they deserve due to other tenants. Currently, a multi-tenant GPU cluster reserves a number of GPUs namely a quota for each tenant, implying that the tenant can access at least its contributed share. But beyond the number of GPUs, deep learning jobs also need good GPU affinity. This is because GPU affinity has great impacts on training performance. For example, a two GPU job can be five times lower when distributed than on a single machine. But such difference is not captured by the current reservation mechanism quota. They're all equivalent, just two GPUs from quota's perspective. The state of the art is to reserve a quota and apply some affinity optimization globally, for example, packing the GPUs or defragmentation with schedulers like Gandiva. We find that the quota mechanism can lead to anomalies where some tenants may experience worse performance in the shared cluster than they would on a tenant's private cluster. In this example, we have four jobs, each using one GPU in the cluster. Now another tenant with a quota of four GPUs submits a four GPU job. Now the tenant has enough quota. Imagine on a private cluster with a four GPU node the job will run on a single machine immediately. However, on a shared cluster, this job has to either wait longer or run slower because the GPU affinity has been fragmented. The fragmentation is caused by other tenants, although every tenant is within the reserved quota and does nothing wrong. This phenomenon is similar to external fragmentation in memory allocation if we liken the tenant to a program. But the key difference is that in a multi-tenant cluster, tenants expect their resource shares to be guaranteed. However, quota as a numerical unit cannot define the boundary of the affinity structure of each tenant, hence it cannot isolate fragmentation across tenants. The result is that sharing becomes harmful to the tenant, so we call this phenomenon sharing anomaly. Although we have some global defragmentation mechanisms, they usually have to deal with a complex multi-objective optimization problem. For example, we may migrate the jobs with Gandiva to defragment the cluster, but sometimes defragmentation may hurt job performance due to interference. So in this case, Gandiva prefers to spread the jobs, but this could result in higher fragmentation and impact the GPU affinity of other tenants. Actually, we have witnessed important corporate users revert to private clusters after experiencing and being annoyed by such anomaly. Hive is our solution to such sharing anomaly. The primary goal is to guarantee sharing safety, which is defined against the anomaly. Any sequence of GPU requests, possibly with affinity constraints, should be satisfied on the shared cluster if satisfied on the private cluster. With sharing safety, HiveD can guarantee that a tenant will never suffer from sharing, which we believe is the premise of building a shared cluster. While deep learning schedulers already have a lot of different goals, devising a holistic scheduler that achieves sharing safety and all other goals together would be even more complex. We instead advocate separation of concerns. HiveD is a framework that focuses on providing sharing safety by reserving GPU affinity explicitly for tenants so that sharing anomaly would never happen by design. With such reservation, HiveD provides a clean interface to incorporate any state-of-the-art schedulers to address other concerns.
HiveD adopts a two-layer architecture, the virtual private cluster layer and the physical cluster layer. Instead of using only a quota, a tenant in HiveD reserves resources with a VC. A VC is built with a new resource abstraction cell to define the affinity structure of a private GPU cluster precisely. With cells modeling a real private cluster, HiveD is compatible with any state-of-the-art schedulers by applying them inside the VCs. Whenever a tenant uses GPUs of a cell in its VC, HiveD maps the cell to GPUs in the physical cluster with a dynamic cell allocation algorithm. We theoretically prove that our allocation algorithm guarantees sharing safety. That is, any cell request within the VC can be satisfied on the physical cluster. Our allocation algorithm is also naturally extended to support low priority jobs to improve cluster utilization. Following the principle of separation of concerns, we achieve sharing safety with the cell abstraction and the allocation algorithm. We improve scheduling efficiency and support other possible scheduling goals by third-party VC schedulers. And we improve utilization by low priority jobs. All this combined, HiveD achieves the best of both worlds. It provides tenants with an illusion of their own private clusters with guaranteed resource availability, while being a shared cluster that allows tenants to tap into more resources when available. Let me first introduce the cell abstraction. Cells demonstrate the hierarchical structure. Each cell is a set of GPUs at a certain level of affinity. For example, a lowest level cell could be a single GPU, then to, to GPUs attached to a PCI switch, to GPUs on the CPU socket, to a node, and then to a rack. With such a hierarchy, a cell precisely defines the affinity of the GPUs. On this hierarchical definition, we further assume that each cell can be split into multiple equivalent lower level cells called body cells. This assumption enables an elegant and efficient cell allocation algorithm, which I'll elaborate later. For heterogeneous clusters where this assumption does not hold, we partition the cluster into multiple ones, each satisfying this assumption. With the concept of cells, a tenant's VC is assigned a set of cells at each level to model its own private cluster. HiveD requires this cell assignment to be feasible. That is, the physical cluster should be able to accommodate all the assigned cells. In this figure, we have three tenants, A, B, and C. For example, A's VC has one level one, one level two, and one level three cells. Then HiveD will bind the cells to the physical cluster when tenants use them. For example, this is a possible binding. But know that this is not the only possible binding. HiveD adopts a dynamic binding approach for flexibility to reduce preemptions of low priority jobs and reduce GPU fragmentation and to handle faulty hardware. The dynamic binding is done by, by an algorithm called body cell allocation. The principle of body cell allocation is simple. For each cell level, we track the free cells in the cluster. Whenever we want to allocate a level K cell, we first try to allocate a free cell at this level if possible. Otherwise, we split a free level K plus one cell to produce a set of free level K body cells. This splitting is recursive in case there is no free level K plus one cell. For example, now we have a free level five cell, a rack, and we are requested a level four node. There's currently no free node level cell, so we split this rack to get two node level buddies. And now we can allocate one of them. Say we have another request for a level one cell. So we'll split this level four cell recursively into level three to level two, and finally to level one. Then we can allocate to level one cell. Now, if we have another request for level one, we allocate the other free cell 
instead of splitting any other higher level cells. When the cells are no longer in use, we will release them and merge them if needed in an opposite manner. Generally, body cell allocation keeps as many higher level cells as possible, thereby minimizing the global GPU fragmentation. Beyond minimizing fragmentation, the key property of this algorithm is the proven safety guarantee. As long as the initial VC assignment is feasible, the body cell allocation guarantees to satisfy any cell request within the VC and thus to create a dynamic binding on the fly. The body cell allocation algorithm is also naturally extended to support low priority jobs for higher cluster utilization. HiveD maintains two cell views, one for allocating high priority guaranteed cells and the other for allocating low priority cells. Cells allocated in the low priority view are preemptible to the high priority view, so low priority jobs will not impact the safety guarantee to high priority jobs. We will also leverage the dynamic binding to reduce the preemption of low priority jobs. For example, we allocate a GPU level cell in the high priority view. Then this cell will be marked as used in both the cell views, so low priority jobs cannot use this cell. We will try to allocate cells far away from high priority cells to low priority jobs to reduce the chance of preemption. For example, we will allocate this number five GPU level cell to a low priority job. When allocated, this cell will be marked as dirty in the high priority view, and the algorithm will then try to avoid allocating this cell in the high priority view when, when possible. Of course, if there's no other choice, we will allocate the dirty cell to high priority jobs and preempt the low priority jobs thereby maintaining sharing safety. We have implemented HiveD on Kubernetes and released the system open source. Our release comes with rich features for multi-tenant GPU cluster scheduling and has been deeply integrated with OpenPy, Microsoft's open source AI platform. HiveD has been deployed at Microsoft for over 12 months reliably managing over 1,000 heterogeneous GPUs and serving research and production workloads at scale. You can find more implementation details and operation experiences in the paper. We evaluate HiveD on a 96 GPU cluster using a production trace. We use three state-of-the-art deep learning schedulers. For each scheduler, we first run tenants' jobs in their own private clusters. Then we run jobs in a shared cluster with quota. And then we run the jobs in a shared cluster with Hive D and apply the scheduler in the VCs. This is made possible by the precise affinity structure preserved by the VCs. The jobs have hard affinity constraints and will be queued until the required affinity is satisfied. This figure shows the average queuing delay of jobs from one tenant and the moving window of submission time. For every scheduler, we observe longer queuing delay in the shared cluster with quota than in the tenant's private cluster, which means that the tenant is suffering from sharing anomaly. While HiveD eliminates such excessive queuing delay by reserving GPU affinity for the tenant. Meanwhile, compared with the private cluster, HiveD also achieves significantly shorter queuing delay by low priority jobs. This shows that HiveD achieves the best of both the private cluster and the shared cluster. Compared to applying the scheduler globally with quota, HiveD also exhibits similar overall job completion time, showing the effectiveness of the separation of concerns in HiveD. We also did simulations on two month trace collected from a 2000 GPU cluster with 11 tenants. We control the cluster load by resizing the cluster and the results show that the sharing anomalies are much more severe on the higher load. We observe up to over 8,000 minutes of excessive queuing delay of a tenant when sharing the cluster with quota 
and its average current delay is seven times that of the tenant's private cluster. Hive D again eliminates all the sharing anomalies. To demonstrate the importance of sharing safety, we did a simulation where a tenant will leave the shared cluster if it experiences higher average current delay in the quota shared cluster than in the private cluster. The results show that two large tenants, only 37% of quota leave the cluster. Moreover, after the tenants leave the shared cluster, the other nine tenants have significantly longer current delay in this smaller cluster. This shows that it is vital to guarantee sharing safety for maintaining the benefits of building a shared cluster. We also did simulations to understand the effectiveness of buddy cell allocation in reducing preemptions and fragmentation. First, compared to a static binding, buddy cell allocation shows to reduce the number of preempted GPUs by 55%. This is because the algorithm can avoid allocating 30 cells used by low priority jobs when there are multiple buddy cells available. Second, when VCs are assigned cells at lower levels, the buddy cell allocation algorithm can pack the cells across VCs more compactly to reduce fragmentation. In all the previous experiments, we assigned VCs with only node level cells. In this experiment, we changed the assignment to multiple levels by fitting the GPU number distribution of the tenant's jobs. Compared with the single level assignment, the multi-level assignment reduces cluster fragmentation level by up to 20%. So HiveD encourages users to estimate their workloads more accurately to provide more efficient cross-VC packing and less fragmentation. To conclude, HiveD addresses the challenge of sharing a GPU cluster for deep learning with, first, defining a simple and practical guarantee sharing safety against the anomaly we identify in production clusters, which is easily appreciated by tenants. Second, proposing cell, a new resource abstraction with which we can define and reserve affinity structures for tenants explicitly. Third, developing body cell allocation, an elegant algorithm with proven safety and support for low priority jobs. And fourth, devising a two-layer architecture to separate the concerns of other scheduling goals from sharing safety, so as to strike a right balance between multiple objectives. So this is the end of my talk. Thank you very much.